Our gospel today is taken from John. John was the last of the four gospels and was probably written towards the very end of the first century or the beginning of the second century. At this point, uh, most believers would have been the grandchildren and great-grandchildren of the first disciples. And John's manner of writing is very different than the other three Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. John is almost mystical in his writing. These are profound meditations. You know, for instance, you take the birth of our Lord, and Matthew and Luke, they paint oh, such a extraordinary picture of the birth of our Lord. We can picture the stable and the angels and the shepherds and the three kings. John describes the birth of Jesus in two sentences. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was made flesh. His gospel account invites us into the deeper meanings of the teachings of our Lord, where the others, the evangelists, were focused on what were the events in our Lord's life. John poses the question, what do these m events mean to you? And one of the most extraordinary reflections on the Eucharist is called the Bread of Life Discourse, and this gospel is part of that meditation on the Eucharist, the Eucharist that feeds us, the Eucharist that leads us to eternal life. John speaks to the senses when I look, what do I see? When I listen, what do I hear? When I touch, what do I feel? Inviting us more deeply into the mysteries of our faith. As we gather together today in many different places, we are all gathered spiritually on a reflection of Jesus, who is the bread of life. And this long period of deprivation from the Eucharist because of the pandemic, makes us hunger for the Eucharist perhaps more than any other time in our lives. I've heard from many of you through text messages and email how much you miss the Mass. But as we gather to celebrate this Eucharist, we know that the Lord feeds us, feeds us through his body and blood. May we never take for granted this great gift. May we always recognize Jesus who is the bread of eternal life.